And this is going to be loser's bracket. Um, I'm not sure where exactly. Pretty decently far into losers. Yeah. A series of uh, upsets tonight. Yeah. Leading to this. Meerkat losing to uh, Ash earlier. Yeah. Which is very exciting. That was cool. That was, that was interesting. That was, some, that was a very PM kind of loss. Oh, yeah, absolutely. With the Bowser coming out, which was very impressive. I was yeah. not anticipating it at all. I knew he had a Bowser, but... Yeah, I don't think... I don't think you know who else did anticipate that? It was Meerkat, <laughs> who, Meerkat who left WarioWare wide open. I think, yeah. I think that was more... I don't think he, like, intended to go Bowser until he looked at the stages and he's like, you know. Oh, hey. Yeah, he's like, the mm. one stage that Bowser is almost completely broken on. But Bowser, I mean, Bowser, Yoshi's is pretty good too, but Warrior where he gets a ton on. Is, um, uh, is Yoshi's legal this year? Yeah. Oh. As some people, it's really, like, we're, we do the 7 and 7, even though that's not great, but a lot of people are just doing, like, the central 5. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. That's what I thought. <laughs> Whatever. That's what I thought. People, people can agree. Earlier. People can... That's fun. People oh, are man, going I to go to Smashville and PS2 anyway. Dang, like, dude, I, I like Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, I love Yoshi. <laughs> Can't believe I missed that one. More importantly, uh, Meerkat is not... He's doing a really good job of tacking on this damage. Not doing yeah. a good job of closing it out, which Wolf is really right. good at, so I'm Wolf, surprised. Okay, so Wolf is incredibly easy to kill with if you know. If you know. If you know. He's well, I'm not, expecting good things out right. of Meerkat. Like, there, there, there are a lot of characters, I mean, Sheik's the melee example, a lot of 3.0 characters that have easy conversions. Yeah, you know, and Wolf doesn't have easy conversions. He has a ton of conversions, but they're lost. not they're not I'm, simple. I'm surprised to see Meerkat doing, this, Meerkat doing this matchup without Fox, right? Yeah. Because I feel like this matchup for Ganon versus Fox would be really good for serve how Meerkat normally plays yeah. very well. I mean, I think... Meerkat, what I've just seen of him, he likes to just go... He just does stuff. He does, you know, like, game one, he likes to try out different characters. We saw him go Pikachu against Ash game one. Well, what... what I, was, I heard him talking earlier, and he was like, well, you know that feeling that you get when you want to switch mains, but you're still not confident in it? And I said, well, do you want to switch mains to Pikachu? And right. he said, no, no not, <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> He's just doing what he can. No, this is losers. This is losers round. Losers. So let's see. That's semis, quarter. Okay, this is losers round three. Losers round three. Losers round three. I, yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, wow, Meerkat. Bringing Meerkat this back really, real quick. really interesting with that wolf. His movement is really good right now. He's doing a great job of controlling the stage, hopping right in, getting those combos, yep. and then getting Meerkat, right out. <laughs> Meerkat is the kind of person, I don't know if you fall under this, I haven't seen you play too much, but he's, a lot of the newer players will actually like get real... Those bears. Oh my god, those bears were so clean. A lot of newer <laughs> players will, will sit home and practice a lot more tech skill. So you'll notice oh, yeah, poorer decision making especially relative to the tech skill they have. Like, you see them move and oh, you yeah. see them do some stuff, but then you see them, like, pick moves and you're like, wait a minute. Hey, man, that's why I got knocked out of bracket. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I counterpicked uh, WarioWare against the Samus as Falco and blew everything, basically. Because yeah, no. I always forget how awful WarioWare is. Yeah, well, WarioWare is an interesting thing. <laughs> I just should never play on that. <laughs> so, so, what I really like from this pick is that Wave Trash picked it quick. He's not trying anything fancy. He's like, you know what, let's just go to Smash Bros. He wants to get it through with his fucking And, um... His Ganon is great. Like, I've, I've been watching him play today, and it's really good. Uh, I, I think he's more of a Falcon main. I'm actually he's, so he's confused a Falcon myself. Main. Okay. He's a Falcon main. He decided he wanted to go Ganon this tournament, which is really interesting. Uh, this, uh... But I, I definitely believe Wave Trash can do some interesting things here. Yeah. I was watching him earlier, his movement was uh, a lot like Jesus's actually. Is how how so? In that, like, he would come out with these bursts of movement, right? Where he would just yeah. take you know, out these Yeah, stars. I agree. He was very slow. He'll, like, just kind of walk around the stage, and then he'll kill you. And that's just how it'll go. You kind of have to deal with that. Mirkin's wolf looking really pretty right now, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Mer I think Meerkat just needed to adapt to the character, figure out the combo game a little bit. He's using his shine really well, where he's going for a lot of extra shines instead of normal follow-ups, uh, which is more what I was expecting of the first game. I mean, obviously it worked out for him since he 
right. picked up that win anyway. No, Ooh, that, that, that chase. That, that first game was a very textbook example of like how to adapt and how to figure out a character's combo. Your cat's so impressive with that kind of thing. But but the thing is, is that Ganon just needs to get those hits, and yeah. then if he's got the reads like Wave Trash is looking like he does, then you can really convert that into strong, strong damage. Absolutely. It's it's a case of Wolf is will combo Ganon for a year. But the moment Ganon gets out, he can throw something out, and if he hits, then he wins. He'll win that fight, specifically. It's really risky for Wolf to go in. Uh, he has to get those guaranteed hits. He's trying to bait a lot of stuff out by throwing out lasers and making uh, Wave Trash approach, which is always a great tactic, especially in these spaces, because we all know how combo food spaces yeah. are. So he's just going to get but you those know, you know, Ganon. rare hits up. Ganon's definitely much more adapted at comboing more floaty or midway characters. I'd say at low percent, you know, he needs very specific moves to convert on spaces, you know? Well, I, what I was thinking is sort of along the lines of uh, Wolf kind of, you know the old adage, uh, Wolf spawns and kill percent? Right, right, right. Well, it's, it's sort of the case here where that back. you can, as Ganon, combo at these low percents, and if you can get these tech chases, which spaces are very much vulnerable to, yeah. uh, which Wave Trash clearly doing a lot of really well, uh, especially with these down airs, which are really, really fun to watch. Uh, you can definitely knock him out, but Meerkat is kind of keeping it just even. Because this is sort of kill percent for yeah. both right? Ooh, double laser into Nair. Ooh, I was kind of expecting a side beat. <laughs> yeah. Right, Maybe I'm just using Neon at this point. <gasps> Oh, that Still was really punished. that was scary because of how little aerial drift wolf has after that. That was really good use of wolf's um, projectile game. Yeah, and you know I, what I'm seeing from Meerkat the most is just these back airs. Not even like necessarily in combos, just using them really well space. space. Yeah, yeah. kind of keeping keeping wave trash just out to the point where he's comfortable, which is awesome. It's really good use of the back air. <laughs> Ganon, there's Ganon. Ganon, <laughs> this is definitely not good. over. Very good. Especially on Wave Trash with Ganon. I was watching him 2v1 some people earlier. Oh, we were playing teams together. No, he's really good. He's out here from New Mexico. I think he's out here Ooh. for work. Smooth combo. Yeah, he's doing work. <laughs> oh, so is that going to close the That's going to do it. That's so, oh my god. So that was just, that was like, Meerkat had the right idea. He was trying to <laughs> jump over the down B. It looked like he was doing for a jump back forward. Right? Yeah, he definitely And had then an to punish it. Point. He knew exactly. He's like, oh, I'm just going to jump over it. You know, jump over the fireball that is Ganon's down B. I honestly think Wave Trash was like, this is what he's going to do. And then he just handled it. You he think that up. Okay. I think he thinks that far in advance? I think That'd I be. think that time he did. Because uh, I think Meerkat was doing a lot of that beforehand. Mm -hmm. Which is, it's not bad. It's a really good option. It's hard to cover in general. And he's mixing it up uh, with general stuff as well. But... I think Wave Trash just kind of saw the situation and got a case of like, well, I've seen this before and I can handle it if I do this. And Meerkat's not going to expect that. He's not going to be DIing for the hit. Like, it's going to kill, especially at like mid-high percents on, against Ganon. Ooh, that was a down-angled F tilt, and it was the perfect pimp. I'm really, really loving how uh, Wave Trash is using these back airs to space yeah. just right. They're actually, this is a very back air centric game. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's, and Ganon's back air is really good. It auto cancels really nice. It gives a ton of frame advantage if you land it right next to him. Perfect tech chase on that down beat. That was really, really impressive. And another down angle forward tilt to pick up another stop. Yeah. Jeez. He's, I'm, I'm mostly surprised that Meerkat did not go Fox. I'm I'm really surprised. I ex I definitely expected your cat's box because it's good. It can handle this kind of thing. It can definitely handle this sort of. Thing. And usually, like when he loses a match, he'll immediately go in the box, right? Like at least for a round. Well, if he's if he's if he's confident, he'll go in the box. But you know, you know, this is a lot like how the first game looked, and then uh, Meerkat brought that back. That's true. That's definitely true. But uh, I think. I, I don't, I'm, I'm a little hesitant to say this, but I feel like Wave Trash sort of has yeah, him yeah, figured out. Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree. He's kind of got these, this idea of where he's going to attack. 
He's just very now consistent he... on picking up the actual punishes that he needs. Now, you want to talk about download, he read that jump up super hard. That was just a full hop back air. You know, that's not going to cover that's a lot not, of yeah, options. That, yeah, that was definitely just covering that yeah. one specific option, which is amazing. It's really good. I love how Wave Trash is adapting to the, the projectile game, though. It's so cool to watch. Him jumping in with those nares, hitting the first projectile with the first hit, and then getting the hit, starting the combo off the second hit in there. It's really impressive. And he's definitely winning off of these, uh, these slight edge guards. Yeah, edge guards is definitely something Ganon is adapted doing. And I'd like, I mean, he's just trading too. You see a lot of he's, times. He's not taking the risk of going off stage, yeah. which is definitely what he should be doing with Ganon against the Spacey. Because the Spacey will turn it around on him, especially one like Back Gold. air. Ooh! I thought that was gonna be suicide game. Yeah. Ooh, these caps are so good too. I love it. It's perfect for getting. So, 52%? That's not too bad. That's okay. You he know, can he can it. do yeah. this. Now, honestly, like, two more hits, 70 to 0, that's a little more questionable. But... Especially since that's really just Ganon's kill percent. Yeah. Straight forward, forward air. air with oh, yeah. Him. That's how uh, Game 2 ended. Absolutely. I think Game 2 was Meerkat's game to lose, and then he did. Yeah. It definitely was. I think I think he just didn't realize how much he would need to do that. Ooh, he's getting that combo started. This is a dead-even game now. Oh no. Especially with the pressure in Meerkat's corner, that's not really good for Wave Trash. Again, yeah, using those projectiles so beautifully. So, okay, what I've noticed is that back air, that's gonna close it out. Yo, that was a Yo. close game. That was pretty good. <laughs>